operant conditioning, in a few words, let's say. Well, we use a part of operant conditioning. We, we try and maximize what is positive reinforcement. Um, when an animal performs a behavior, um, the consequence of that behavior um, decides whether it, there's a higher frequency afterwards or a lower frequency. Uh, in other words, if you give it a, a positive reinforcement, a prize, it's, uh, it's more likely that it's going to repeat that behavior. And if you ignore it, it's more likely that it's not going to repeat that behavior. So we use much uh, um, prizes, a uh, premio, a fish, uh, touching, um, encouragement for things we, that we like the animal to do. If we see it jump, okay, fish, encouragement, ah, oh, you did, good job. And it's more likely that it's going to repeat it. Okay, so we use positive reinforcement to get the animal to repeat a behavior that we like. It's in a nutshell. <laughs> what about behaviors you don't like? Well, we, we ignore them. We ignore them. And very short um, time span, the dolphin does something that you think, well, no, that wasn't quite correct. And it returns to you for the encouragement. So it's just, you just ignore it a slight second. And then you carry it and you try again. Okay, and then after repetition, the dolphin knows, okay, didn't like that, so uh, there's no point doing it. I want, to get, I want to get the encouragement, I want to get the fish, I want him to like what I'm doing. So um, he doesn't repeat it. 